Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're gonna play Cold Waters. Well, truth be told, we'll be learning Cold Waters. In the last video, I did the first training mission, and I did a smidge of the campaign so you could see what it was all about. Obviously, I didn't do too well because I skipped over the other training missions, but I did play... Uh, the second and third training mission off-camera just now, but I want to replay them for you so you could see what I've learned and, uh, well, truth be told, what I haven't learned. So, uh, let's go into wire-guided torpedoes here. And I think I've got a handle on this, but like I said, uh, there's some things that still confuse me about the game and how everything is controlled, but we'll, we'll get the hang of it. So, let's go ahead and... Um, Man the battle stations, and we are right here. So, uh, wire-guided torpedoes. You shift F1 now to read about torpedo settings and wire guiding. So, shift F1. So, um, this is sort of like a wiki of sorts. It'll explain some things. Unguided torpedoes. Some weapons and decoys are simple, straight-running torpedoes. The torpedo will fire and gauge a gyro to steer toward the waypoint you set. And then simply continue running straight until it either hits a target or reaches its range limit. Unguided torpedoes have no applicable tube settings. They will either run a depth launch decoys or change depth to a preset running depth for that particular model. Uh -huh. And then wire guided, uh, you've got other things um, that can actually home in on uh, your opponent, which is something I did in this particular tutorial. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you that now. But there's like tube settings, passive and active. Um, active, once enabled, the torpedo will use active sonar to search for its target. Uh, while active, the sonar is very loud, making the torpedo much easier to detect and anticipate by the target. Uh, whereas passive are much harder for the enemy to detect, but require the target to be making significant noise. So, it's a risk there. Uh, search settings, there's straight search, snake search, left search, and right search. Uh, depth settings, run level, run shallow, and run deep. So there's different ways to go about managing this uh, torpedo once you fire it. Um, there's some things that I haven't gotten to understand yet, like what wire cutting means and all this other stuff. Like there's cut wire. You shift F4 to cut the wire on this tube. I'm not exactly sure what that means, um, but let's, let's just uh, get back into the tutorial here. And uh, so we've got a third column, this weapon data here. And whenever we fire a torpedo, we'll actually see information about that torpedo like csc is course rng is range brg is bearing direction from your submarine to the weapon uh, rte is range to enable distance from distance or distance from weapon to its waypoint and ttr time to run seconds left for weapon run all right let's move on well it also wants us to do this use the tab to switch to full screen all right and then we're going to set we're going to use space, and then we're going to set a bearing of zero, which is straight ahead, and then a KYD of 20. And you can actually see on the, on the map there uh, the distance. So that's about right. So right click, and it fires. All right. So if Torpedo 1 reached its waypoint, which it hasn't, it's you can actually see the number 1 right here. And if you look on the bottom left-hand corner, it says Weapon Data 1 on it. And it has some stats listed here, which is kind of nice. So, um, so now what I can do is I can left-click on the waypoint to drag it. And it wants me to uh, do a bearing of 330, which is about here, and a range of 3KD. So that's about, that's about right here. So now the torpedo has just effectively changed its course and is now moving to this area. Once the torpedo, well actually it's, it's, I don't like that, let's move it up a little bit more. All right. Once the torpedo reaches its waypoint, it becomes enabled and starts searching for a target. It now uses the sensor, search, and depth settings provided, can no longer have its waypoint moved, and can be steered directly. That's why I moved the waypoint, because once it reached this target, it would have stayed here and searched around for it. But now that I put the waypoint like closer to here, um, it'll then just sort of circle around and try and find that ship. So here's the enemy ship. Okay, there's my torpedo. I hit F3 for that. So hopefully if I did this right, it'll look for this ship. 
All right, so yeah, now it's, if we look at tab, you'll now see that the torpedo is sort of like using this wide cone to try and find its target. And I don't know if it's going to reach it. Oh, hopefully it does. Uh-oh, something turned red. Okay, it's doing something. Oh, okay. I think it hit its target. We couldn't see the ship for whatever reason. Okay, probably because we weren't, we didn't see it. But now, yeah, the torpedo caught sight of something and hit the ship. So now that is sinking. You can also steer the torpedo. Use keyboard, uh, keypad 4 and 6 to change direction. Keypad 5 and 8 to change depth. Opening the conditions tab uh, will show the current depth of the torpedo. Four will activate a torpedo as if it had reached its waypoint. Shift four cuts the wire, preventing further external control. Disabled during training. Wire gutter torpedoes will not home on friendly vessels, but one with a cut or broken wire can. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and reload that torpedo bay with R. Disabled for training purposes, however, a wire may be broken unintentionally for the same effect as cutting the wire. Use Shift F1 now to read about the conditions causing wire breakage and how to avoid it. Target practice. All right, let's go ahead and do some more target practice. Uh, so we'll try and do the same thing. There's another ship, I think. There's a few more. So we're going to use space, and we'll go ahead and right-click. And I think this is passive sonar. I think that's what the difference is here. If we did Shift F1. All right, weapons. Okay, yes, the little dot is passive on the torpedo and the radar looking symbol is active. So again, active will help me find it better. Let me go ahead and put this back on passive. All right, so the torpedo one is heading toward its target. And I may want to consider speeding up a bit. Let's F1 and we'll head in this direction. Actually, let's, let's use zero to raise our periscope while we're at it. All right, and we'll go ahead and turn, actually, is it P for periscope? Yeah. So this is the ship that we want here, I think. So I think it's Q to move forward. We're captivating. Why? CR2 is classified as Andesan. Okay. But I think he's getting away. Oh, that was the one that got de got destroyed. Okay, so let's see if I can actually. I don't think I can identify that. Um, so I want to know what that was. Con periscope damage. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be using the periscope at full speed like this. All right, well let's let's lower the periscope then. Time to repair. Five minutes. I'd lower the telescope. Lower it. All right, obviously I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so let's let's go to a, let's stop for a minute. I had no idea that you could actually damage the periscope by moving. Maybe there's a certain speed at which it could uh, the sub could be moving to where you know it'll start taking damage. Oh, right, well, anyway, let's check out our torpedo. Where is our torpedo? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's still heading toward its target. Let's hit tab. Okay, so as you can see, the ship has uh, gone past. Okay, let's right click and reset that. All right. And we can probably, let's go ahead and launch number two at this guy over here.
All right, so torpedo number two is away. And let's go ahead and turn a little bit. And again, can we can we lower the periscope at this point? Or is it too damaged? Nope, can't. So it's sort of stuck. We can't we can't do anything with it. So I might as well let's go just inch forward. Let's try one third and see if we're actually able to do that without damaging the periscope. <laughs> try sinking the other targets. Okay. Alright, so there's one torpedo. There's the other torpedo heading toward its targets. Heading tab, we can see both torpedoes heading toward their targets. Um, so if we click on torpedo one, we can see the waypoint. Let's go ahead and move that up. Or not. Why is it not? Oh, there we go. And then torpedo number two. I think they saw the death of their friendly ship and are, like, hightailing it out of there. What if there's a way to make the torpedo go faster? I don't think there is. Let me have to, yeah, bump that up. Lead the target. Torpedo number two is going to take forever to get there. Well, based on that, it's going to be more like here. So I guess it's important to lead the target for the torpedo. All right, F9, by the way, will speed up time, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh. And I think one left the sensor range. Oh. Okay, so now this torpedo has reached its destination and now is actively seeking out a target, but unfortunately, it's I don't think it's going to hit. We can try changing this to active, maybe, see if that does anything. But I don't, yeah, once, it's now going to search for its target, and yeah, we're not, we're not going to, it's not going to work. Now, where am I at? Why am I still turning for? That's weird. Like I'm not even hitting anything. I wonder if I, I wonder if the controls are set to where you just continue to drift until you stop it. All right, so I need to I need to go back to the map and then reorient reorient myself. Yeah, I made a complete half circle. <laughs> okay, well let's just let's keep let's keep turning here. Some submarine captain I am. Yeah, I don't think we're going to sink these ships. Alright, F9 speed things up a bit. Unfortunately, I can't see where my target is, but... Periscope repaired. Awesome. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we passed our target. All right, turning around. All right, well, we might get one of them. This is what I'm talking about. Like, obviously, this is still a tutorial, and I'm not good at it, but it's still a lot of fun. I just, I just like messing with the torpedoes. This is good practice for when I actually get out into the field. And is, Are we actually still seeking this target? It looks like it. If so, that'd be cool. All right, now what about my? Okay, let's let's now that we're sort of let's, let's stop moving. I wish there was like a a way to see what my. Okay, rudder is minus twenty. Okay, so we need to put that on zero. Okay, and I think the rudder zero means we're not turning at all. Let's just make sure of that. Okay, so we're good. All right, let's lower the periscope. Down scope. There we go. The zero worked that time. And then let's go ahead and increase speed. Head full. I'm going to chase these guys. All right. Now, how are we doing over here? All right. Number two torpedo. Should 
Should we do passive sonar? Active sonar. I guess we'll do active. And it, and it. We can't see the ship here, unfortunately. I'm guessing we're limited limited by what our sub can see as opposed to what the torpedo can see. Maybe that's just to prevent us from cheating. Uh, okay, so we're, we're closing in. All right, come on now. All right, so we're getting close. All right, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Oh, okay, so where are you going? Okay, so yeah, don't, now we have it on a search course. I changed it to the left arrow here, so it just sort of spins around. And hopefully it locks on. All right, are we detecting this guy or not? I mean, for whatever reason, it's not red. All right, so maybe there's something I'm doing. I thought it would auto-detect and use four to enable the torpedo. Well, it's active, but it's not finding the target. All right, tab. But now I can actually control the missile. Now maybe... Point your torpedo at one of the target. Okay, once in range, your tor oh, okay. I think the torpedo's gone. All right, that's all right. We're actively chasing this guy now, this Dawn guy. So let's go ahead and reload these torpedoes, and we'll try again. All right, now clicked on him, Dawn. All right, speed is 17 knots. Ours is 20 knots, so we're actually going faster than him. I'm going to head full, head flank. So our speed is 19 knots, 20 knots. Okay. So I don't think we're going to get much faster than this. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time. Oh, and I think, oh, there he is. What's that circle mean, I wonder? I wonder if that's like... Maybe that's sort of like a, a, a lock-on kind of thing. Maybe that's where I need to fire in order for me to hit my target. If that's the case, that'd be really cool. Alright, so we shot torpedo tube 2. And let's go ahead and, you know, we're keeping this on a fast forward, because otherwise it's going to take a while. My speed is 20 knots. All right, let's go ahead and use the periscope. Um, oh, pfft. I forgot about that. I'm, I'm, I am traveling pretty quickly here. All right, um, time to repair up. Should not have done that. Oh, well. I forgot I was traveling at full speed. Like I said, folks, not the best sub captain around. I know, I know. Oh, I could still use the periscope. That's that's good. Unfortunately, I can't see anything. Bearing Bearing 30? Oh, okay. yeah, okay, so actually that, that lines up. On the very top there is 30. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah, the torpedo's still on its way. Periscope offline requires repair at port. 
Okay. Well, that's all right. Let's just keep going. F9. Let's go faster. All right. Let's see if we can get this torpedo to hit its mark. Oh, we can actually see the ship now. Before we couldn't. All right. Let's slow things down for a minute. Let's take a look at our mini map. All right. Can we move the... Oh, we can. So we can actually change the target on the minimap as well, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time again. All right, again, this is torpedo view. Ah, oh, we're out of range. Ugh. We had to get closer. Okay, well, we're almost there. Do we want to try again? Distance, range, okay, 22. So what's the range then of this weapon? Oh, all right, fine, we'll just fire. All right, torpedo one, here we go. I mean, we're still closing in on our target, albeit slowly. Like, this is a lot of fun. Even though I don't fully know what I'm doing yet, it's still loads of fun. Okay, there's the enemy ship. Again, I have it on fast forward, so it it looks like it's Speedy Gonzales on the open seas here, but it's, it's not really. And there's my submarine with the broken periscope. Which I still have in my sights, so that's a good thing. Alright, so here comes... Now, what is this ESM level? I haven't learned about that yet. All right, so we're closing in on our target. Let's go ahead and reset the position. Oh, there it goes, okay. Um, F9, all right. So oh, the torpedo changed here. Ooh, it hit, nice. So the torpedo did activate and then lock on target. We knocked Dawn out of the out of the seas, awesome. And if we go back to to periscope view, which is tab, well, F1, and then P. Zoom in on our target with mouse wheel. And that's a beautiful sight. Okay, so that was, let's just leave combat. That was sort of like a, a quick tutorial on wired guided torpedoes. Um, the ability to use the arrows and move them around and stuff like that. Missiles, I just started playing with, so I'm not the greatest at them. Uh, but you can shoot them from, like, underwater, and they actually go in the air, as opposed to being, you know, obviously they're not torpedoes. They don't travel into water. They travel above water. So, um, okay. So we're going to do, okay, so we have to reload the torpedoes. We're going to hit R, cycle through these torpedoes. We want these white ones. If you go to condition, uh, it's under, no, stores, there we go. Yeah, the one that we want is the UGM-84. So right now we're loading those. Those are the missiles. And we're going to be aiming for, I think it's S1. But there's like a minimum range, too. Like, you just can't go right up next to something and shoot your missile at it. You've got to be pretty far away from it. Um, time compression is F9, which is what I learned all right, um, so that's selected, space bar. Now you'll notice that I have a range of eight or so, like around 7.9 KYD. You'll notice that the bearing and the range text is red, meaning that that's like my minimum range. I can't shoot, I can't shoot below that. But once I get up to here, I can. So place waypoint. Uh, all right, what else does it want me to do? Use your mouse point a minute. Okay, and then summary north. Mouse wheel zoom. 
When ready, right click. Okay, so we're gonna shoot this sucker. All right. So, there it goes. Okay, so we shot the torpedo out of the water. It is now flying. I just think that's so cool. And eventually it should hit its target, even though we can't see it. Hopefully. It's not moving, so... Okay, we hit something. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So, like, we used, we used our radar to, to get a beat on these enemy ships. Let's try that. We'll reload. We have our second one ready. We'll go ahead and, um, let's use our periscope. And try and locate. Okay, so that was bearing. Okay, that's the first one. The second one was somewhere. There he is. Ah, is it? Yeah. Speed 10 knots. Okay, so if we go back to the map. So around the, here. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot our missile. And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll try it. So if we do that. All right. Let's see if that it actually is a good targeting. If not, then we're going to have to like... eyeball it ourselves unless that's the torpedo lead maybe that's what that is because this this definitely over it definitely over it's it's too far there's no way but there's the ship we're going after and it's just gonna blow up or we told it to, yeah we it was too far of a lead okay well that didn't work all right, uh, let's go back and try that again. This time we'll let's reload. All right, let's go ahead and try for here. It's a little bit closer of a lead. Again, I don't know if it's gonna make it or not, but we'll try. Your missile will launch and run to the waypoint where it will go active and seek your target. If it cannot find a target, the missile will self-destruct. Okay. Oh! Nice! We hit it. Alright, so firing. Target practice. Be sure not to place the waypoint past the target or a missile will overshoot before going active or too close to the target such that it is outside the mission sensor cone. Huh. That's, okay, that's, that's what I couldn't figure out in the last time I tried this off camera. All right, well, let's, okay, so there's M3 up here. Let's see if I can locate that on my, uh, so that was bearing... Should we, okay, this is it here. I. Okay. So, let's go ahead and reload the white one there. And tab. Space. Alright, now it says... Be sure not to place the waypoint past the target or the missile will overshoot. Or too close to the target. Okay, so we need to... So what, right here maybe? I just want to see what that does. Yeah, there's like a cone here, a, a forward firing cone that you can change on the bottom right. Let's reload that. And let's go ahead and check out our missile and see what it's doing. I wonder if we have to, like, shoot it just before the target so that it has a chance to lock on. Maybe, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. 
Oh, okay, I think I got it now. I got it now. Boom! That's awesome. I love these missiles. Ugh. Oh. Okay, now I'm getting the hang of it. So basically, when you're shooting a missile, you want to fire... You want to set your waypoint before the ship so that the missile has time to lock on. I, I thought the waypoint was where the missile would blow up. So that's why I was trying to, like, lead it, but that's not the case with missiles. Like, I was trying to treat it like a torpedo, but that's not what the missiles actually do. But anyway, again, we get to watch this burn. So there you go, folks. Um, again, still new to the game, but having a great time with it so far. Uh, still got a lot of learning to do, but um, I, I love these kinds of games. It, there's not enough of them on the market. Um, again, I played, was it Silent Service or Silent Hunter, something like that for the NES. And that's what got me hooked on submarine-style games. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.